Hey, what's up everybody? This is your favorite homeboy for college visit number two. If you were here last week, we did William & Mary. Check out that beautiful campus tour right there. This is another university that my son Josh is going to be considering. It's just a two-hour day trip. Even if you don't want to go to the University of Virginia, you just want to check out Virginia day trips. Charlottesville or Seaville, if you're cool, is just two hours from North Virginia. Lots of good restaurants here. Beautiful campus. And we're also going to show you a really cool restaurant called The Local at the very end. It's supposed to be a really good restaurant. There's supposed to be more restaurants per capital here than I think outside of New York City. So check out the rest of this video for a tour of the University of Virginia. All right, I'm with Sabrina in the bookstore. I'm going to check things out here. Virginia Cavaliers. This place is huge. Cavalier teddy bear. What do you think, Josh? Want to buy something in faith that you're going to be coming here? Josh, that's so cute. <laughs> Look, it's on sale. Goods. Should we buy it in faith? Josh is gonna get in. You better get in if we buy that thing. What if I don't go? Maybe you yeah. should tell them. I bought the cornhole game. You need to let me in. Binders, pharmacy, dorm supplies, light bulbs. You need these when you go into those communal showers, man. Those things are dirty. Oh. Computer stuff, sports stuff. Look at all these hats. Hoodies. This is Wesley. Say hi. Hello. He's gonna give us a tour of UVA. Wow. All right, we're gonna go to lunch right now, so let's go. We're walking to this uh, restaurant called, what's it called? The Virginian. The Virginian, it's just off campus. Wesley, uh, what year are you? I'm a second year. You're a second year here. So after the first year, you you moved off campus, right? Mm -hmm. So I live at this building called um, the Center for Christian Study. And it's basically like a library study center that students can use and like they host events and stuff. And they have a residential program for like girls in the house next to the building. And then in the basement, there's an apartment for the guys. And that's where I'm living. I'm going to live there next year. Maybe my last year as well, but I'm not positive yet. Okay. Did you know the guys before you went in there? Um, I met them before I signed the lease, but like I didn't know anybody super well. Okay. Give us an idea. Like what are the rents for something like that? Um, For that, it's about 450. Oh, wow. Wow, not, that's not awesome. Bad. That's uh, really awesome. Part of that is because it was knocked down a little bit because of some construction that's going to happen soon, which is just going to be kind of inconvenient so they knocked it down a little bit. There are some spots like way over on that side of off campus that are a lot cheaper, but around like here where we're about to start walking, it's probably usually you could expect about like six, six fifty. So I think like the big ones, like that one and that one, I think professors live there. Um, and then all these kind of like apartment looking rooms are all students. Um, yeah, um, it kind of goes back to the whole like original idea Jeff had of like students and professors living together. In your fourth year, you can apply to like live in one of these lawn rooms and it's like given to people who've like done a lot of service, just accomplish a lot like for UVA and for Charlottesville. Oh, so the privilege get to live here. Yeah. <laughs> what is this building here? This is the Rotunda. Rotunda. Um, it was, I think, the original library um, of the university, and now it's like, sometimes there are events hosted in there, like you can study in there from like nine to five, I think, and then there's like a couple classes held in there. And the cool thing is this was like, pattern after like the Pantheon or something like that. Was this yes. the building? Yeah. Really cool architecture. And then the um, Jefferson Memorial in DC is based off of this. Oh, that's right. It does kind of have that look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought it looked familiar. <laughs> And, and I was telling my family that this is like the only school that's a world uh, historic site or something. Yes. Yep. Which is uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. It is very this, cool. This is really cool architecture. Cool. Yeah, I was thinking like for living off campus, uh, you know, one option could be just like getting a home and renting it out or something like that too. But man, for four fifty to six fifty, it's, it's yeah. You there, can't there, beat that. It's pretty. It's all turnkey. Other... Is the food good here? It's, it's okay. It's improving, I think. Yeah. Last year, last year was bad. Last year was really bad. But, um, <laughs> That's got to be a criteria for uh, colleges. They should rank that. I, I think There's got to be a ranking somewhere. Because I know Virginia Tech is like number two in the country. Oh wow! No way. Nowhere close. To <laughs> so you gain more weight at Virginia Tech. Are we like walking distance to Charlottesville? Is this um, it's a, like the downtown area? It's a bit of a hike to get to downtown mall, but if you just walk, keep walking like down the sidewalk, you will get there. Because we visited William and Mary, the cool thing about that was like the downtown was right there, you know. Yeah, that's what so, I heard. But this, you don't really have that, but you just have some little shops and stores. You don't have the whole downtown, but yeah. it's still pretty cool. I heard about this place. Oh this is pretty good, right? Bodas bagels. Bodas is good. Uh, New York, New York style bagels. The Virginian. Are they gonna try? 
All right, let's check it out. Hello. All right, we're here at the Virginian restaurant and with Wesley, our special guest. You got the Paul Bunyan omelet. Looks pretty good. I got the spinach omelet. What'd you get, Josh? Eggs Benedict. Eggs Benedict. The usual. And, oh, that looks good. What is that? Sandwich? Another Eggs Benedict. All right, let me cut into this. Let me cut into this. You don't have to wear that. I'll let you sneeze right in it. So I can see all the cool stuff that comes out. How do you see it? In your eyes are in the back. Achoo! And then I let someone else, let someone else borrow it. Ooh, let's drive one of those bad boys. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that, Dad. That's how you get cool. <laughs> is this your street, Wes? This is. All right, man. Really appreciate you yeah. taking the time. Anything, any last words to say to the subscribers who are oh, watching man. this? Um, it's a great school. Great school. Big fan. Yeah, we'll see you in two more years if you still feel that way. <laughs> nah, just stick I, with I, it. Well, I think so. Yeah. I think so. All right, man. Take care. You as well. Thanks so much. All right, we just had a good lunch with Wesley. He shared with us his experience here living as a second year. They don't say sophomore, junior, senior. They say first year, second year. Kind of a Thomas Jefferson thing where he feels like learning never stops. You know, first year, second year, and, and so on and so forth. So this, uh, we're going to embark on our little walking tour after just having a good lunch with Wesley. He, by the way, graduated from Adfantes Academy where uh, Sabrina's going to school right now. There's Sabrina. And uh, all the other kids went in the past, but now Sabrina's our only child going to AFA. So uh, that's how we knew him. Anyways, we're gonna do a walking tour. Thankfully, uh, unlike the previous video, I do have my action camera. It's not going to be as jumpy and you won't get uh, motion sickness. So we're gonna be using my action camera here and uh, giving you a little tour of the campus. We'll do that this afternoon, beautiful weather. This is supposed to be one of the most beautiful campuses in the nation. So we'll let you check that out and tell us what you think. If you agree uh, with the beauty of this campus, if you've been to this campus, let us know. Uh, comment below and make sure you like this video if you like, like videos like this. So we'll do a quick tour today and then uh, afterwards we're gonna go to Charlottesville downtown and check out one of their restaurants. It's supposed to be one of the best uh, places for food in this area. So we're gonna love this area, I know, because we love food. Check out the campus, here we go. So that was the rotunda. Wasn't that exciting, just like a big library to study in. We're gonna walk through the square. That was Sabrina. <laughs> Charles Brown Science and Engineering Library. Wow, there's like naked people on the walls. Warning, explicit content. Uh, okay, so if you're under 18, okay. uh, make sure you get your parents' permission <laughs> to watch this video because there's naked things on here that you may not want, you may not be able to see but this is all art. <laughs> Close your eyes, Josh. Um, there's a lot of pornography in there. I wouldn't go in there. Huh? On the walls. All right, you ready? Okay, we're gonna check out the dining facility here.
All right, check it out. We're at the stadium now. Dude, this is like, how much bigger than William & Mary's is this? It's like twice as big. Dang, look at this bad boy stadium. Woo! Can we go inside of it and go on the lawn, show a football? Dude, let's check out the gym. Volleyball court. You can go there as long as no one says no. Why not? Oh, look, swimming and diving. Now that is a pool. What did Chloe get, Dad? Look how big the swimming pool is. This is the exercise area. Big old TV. Look, Virginia's playing soccer right now. All right, Josh, we just walked through pretty much half the campus at least. Which uh, campus do you like better so far? I will say UVA's. Cool. Why? Just because I, I feel like I do like a little, I don't know, it's a little larger. I also like how it does seem a little more busy, a little more active here than the uh, William & Mary campus. Yeah, they're both listed on like these lists of most beautiful campuses. So you know, it's hard to compare that. Yeah. One thing that UVA has that William & Mary doesn't is an extensive scooter network. What a peaceful college day. No one to break the peace until you get a crazy college student on a scooter. <laughs> Once you've mastered the scooter, you are now a college student. We're gonna miss him. All right, we made it to downtown Charlottesville. Let's walk around here before our reservation at 5 p.m. It's a pretty cool place. I mean, it's not charming like Williamsburg, but it's bigger. A lot of options, right? A lot of cool restaurants and stores and... Hey! Woohoo! <laughs> What's up, Seville? Give me a big like if you liked his performance. Thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button. Look, Seville Arts. Local stuff, Josh. Downtown Seville, say it like a local. Hey look, little movie theater. What? Sabrina wanna watch a movie. I think we're at the end of the downtown area. Oh, look at this. Wow. You guys wanna walk down the other side or walk down another street? I wanna walk down the other side. Mudhouse. Looks pretty happening. Local beer and beans. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow, it's full. It's full. It's really full, babe. It's nice, smells good, it's warm. A little bit too busy. Hey, look, there's Joe Biden. Graffiti. Hey, it says, uh, let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> you see that, babe? Original recipe ice cream, Killwinds. Let's check out Killwinds. Check out that fudge countertop. Dark chocolates. Ooh, me. Oh, everything looks so good. Look at that big old marshmallow. Ooh, I kind of want that marshmallow. I do too. We gotta leave before we get tempted beyond what we can bear. They closed a little early today because their boss is out. If I was out, I'd make them work later. Yeah! Coffee. This is coffee to the right. Love light coffee. You wanna go here to the right? Yeah, and pie. Whoopee! And pie! We're on the hunt for some coffee and pie. We got an hour and a half before our reservations. Ooh, the pie chest! No, it's closed. No. Mm. Why you do this to us? Why you do this to us? Market Street Market. Uh, just a nice little grocery store. Lots of meats. A little wine section. Cool little market. It's got everything you need. Some local crafts. Okay, I hope you guys liked our tour of downtown C 
Seaville. A little bit of graffiti uh, in the area, but other than that, it's not too bad of a place. Lots of cool coffee places, except a lot of them are closed uh, on a Sunday. A lot of the restaurants open at five. That's kind of what we're doing walking around. So if you like this tour of Charlottesville and the University of Virginia, make sure you give a thumbs up. Uh, we're gonna give you some uh, bonus footage of the restaurant, the local, so you can see if it's a good restaurant or not. If you've been there, make sure you comment below. And don't forget to subscribe if you like videos like this. This is your favorite homeboy, signing out. Okay, we're done hanging out at the coffee shop. Our appointment for our dinner is in 10 minutes. So we're gonna grab some grub at the local and then we'll be on our way back to Centerville from Seaville to Seaville. Ah, oh, pretty slick, huh? Like how I did that? All right, let's go. The local, here we go. This is a cool little area. We can eat up here. Just the inside. And look at here, a little Italian place for dessert. All right, we're at the local right now. It's a very small, intimate restaurant here in Seaville. And we're hungry. Early dinner. All right. Oh, that's true. That's why we're so hungry. All right, Josh got the crispy trout. I got mushroom ragu. Ooh, okay. Ragu? What's that? What'd you get? I got the gnocchi. Bologna, bolognese, bolognese. And bolognese. Meatloaf. Meatloaf, and bacon. Wow. That looks kind of charred. Best food of the day. It's good, right? Nice and hot. Nice and hot, too. Unfortunately, it's not crispy as you can see. Aww. It's supposed to be crispy. And this one was under it, so it's going to be crispy. crispy. That's good. Yeah. You like the uh, gnocchi and the uh, pasta, it was really good. And then, uh, how's the meatloaf, Chloe? Huh? You like it? I like the meatloaf and the pasta. I think I'm gonna hand it to the meatloaf because I normally don't like mushrooms. You can have some more. Okay. Mom, your favorite. No, I like the mushroom one. Yeah. I like the mushroom one. Lots and lots of mushrooms, different types. Sabrina? Um, I like, I think I like this one the best. This is second. But I like this because the truffle actually, you can taste it. And I like the taste of truffle. And with noodles, it's even better. Sometimes they say truffle. And it's best truffle. Alright, so what's your favorite? This one and this one. That one? And then this one, why? Because the flavor is good. It's good when you like your own dish. I think these two are my favorite too. The pasta dishes. More like a Italiano restaurant. It's very good. Mm, I right. do like this corn salad. Out of five stars, hold up your fingers on three, two, one. Alright. There you have it, four-star restaurant right here in Charlottesville, Virginia.